Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what do I to start the video? Hello, my fellow mistakes. Check up here at your service. For those who are new, I'm also at your service as well. So, it's going to be an update video plus part two of, uh, <clears throat> well, of the series I'm doing on how I do things. So, what do you say we get right into it? First thing we need to do is take off the strings. I'm going to do that like this. So, I hope everybody's doing all right. Me, uh, had some bumps and bruises. My laptop got a little fried, so I can't record music. The camera I got, had to send back. Just for the time being. In the process, I end up losing a few things that were needed. So, this video I am going to try to, to do some editing. So, I'm... So, I'm not much of a video editor, but I am going to try. So, there won't be much pauses in between. There will be, uh... You get the idea. Because, Mommy, I'm a professional. Alright, so like I said, first thing is first. Let's take this shit off. These oldie but goodie strings. You know what? Let's loosen them up first. I got an idea. Loosen them up first, and then cut them by the nut. Almost like a vasectomy. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is that I don't have anything to record on but what I'm using now. Alright, so take these strings off. Okay. Hey, we're back. Well, so what I'm going to do now is hopefully if I did my research right, which I kind of did. Amazing. I'm going to tighten these little nibbers up as I try not to fuck my guitar up. So just like that, like that, you know, just... Just kind of tighten them. You know, they don't need to be overbearing tight. Just enough for it snug. Like that. Like that. Like that. Alright, All right, so now also tighten up the string trees. Make sure they're nice and tight. Alright, uh, I don't know how they can see, but these little screw screws on the uh, things. Yeah, what do you say Let's we uh, tighten, tighten those up as well? The back of the tuners, as you can see, screws right there too. Same thing, just snug them up, tighten them. No need to go overboard. Right. All right. Another thing, I need the uh, big. I need the big guns for this. The back plate of the. Um, there we go. Back plate of the uh, bolt-on neck. There we go. All right. Another thing, right there. Make sure that is. Snug as a bug in a rug, so to speak. All right, that is good. Now, what I'm also going to do really quick is I personally take a lot of the screws out so I can have better access. So, instead of being six on the back plate, there's only two.
use that. <laughs> okay. This makes string changing, uh, getting rid of, and putting new strings in a little bit more of a breeze. Okay. Now, tape. Now, this helps with what I'm doing. I put the tape of painters like those, like so, right on the pickups. Now, the reason why I like to use painter's tape is because that it doesn't leave any marks, any residue. And what we're going to use is some extra, 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 that's 4-0 fine wool. That protects the pickups from getting... From getting heavy metal. So, that's what I do to show you like that the fret board and the fret wire. And, uh, yeah. Now we take a cloth that we use for the the um, fretboard only, and we just kind of wipe it down. And just wipe off all the uh, shavings as much as you can. All right, like so. All right, now we are going to use fretboard oil. I like to use the Adario's. Hey, somebody likes me. Hold on. Let us resume. <clears throat> so, what I'm doing right now is kind of using my fingers to spread the fretboard oil. Let that set in for a little bit. While we do that, I'm also going to, while we let that soak in a little bit, I'm also going to make sure these are tightened as well, which is the pick guard screws. As well as the output jack screw. That one needed to be a little tightened. All right, full circle. <clears throat> All right. Oh, wait. Almost forgot to do one other thing. We're going to take off these. These knobs. I don't know how well you can saw it. Fuck it. Two knobs. Okay. Now, we take that same rag, but use the other side. And just kind of wipe off the excess, the excess skunk. Just like that. Just kind of lightly go through it. Bada bing, bada boom. We're done with that at the moment. So now we take our cloth that we use for the body. What I'm going to do. 
and spread the cloth. Now I'm also gonna do, since the headstock is shiny, kind of, I'm gonna clean off the headstock. Between them. All right. Now, take these off. I'm also going to get some of it, unfortunately, of the shavings got in between the pickups, which is fine. I can, I'll use, um, what is it called later? Uh, I will use, um, some, uh, compressed air, some, uh, can air to take care of the rest of that. For what I can't get with the tape. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, so I'm using Gibson guitar polish because I'm an anarchist. And I'm using this on a Stratocaster style. But hey. Oh well. Now we got those out of the way. What do you say we uh, get a pack of strings? Open these up appropriately, even though I don't always do it this way. Put around the end. Oop. So. Why am I using that again? Whoop! Alright, there we go. Now, what I like to do after I find my strings, voila, bada bing, bada boom, bada ba, is I like to stretch them out before I put them in. Oh, whoop, like so. Kind of do that, you know, just kind of stretch them a little bit. So. that in like so. Okay, what do you say we uh, put this back on? So, let's put the strings back on again. Well, not again, but 
pretty sure you know what I mean. <laughs> so a real quick advice when it comes to this changing strings and a headstock is, don't know how I can see it, you take the low E string, which is the thickest string of the guitar, you want to act, because I like to personally put about a two to three wraps per string, so what you have to do for the thicker strings is kind of a little bit more slack to do that and the I'm doing that wrong aren't I so I need a little bit less there we go so my bad I almost did that backwards so the thicker strings are the shortest and the longer strings are the longest so, in other words, to get two to three wraps, you want a shorter, um, a shorter, uh, let me show you, kind of. So, almost like that, you know, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Okay, now I don't take the strings, uh, uh, cut the strings off until I know I'm done and I don't need to unwind them. But it doesn't necessarily mean, let me just move this, that we don't need, or that we do need, or doesn't mean that we can't tune it up. So, what do you say we tune it up, eh? Oops. Son of a bitch. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of using that, I'm going to use a an app that I use on my phone. So, just give me one moment. I like to use Guitar Tuna.
Please don't break. So this guitar is an E flat. So I am down tuning a little bit.
Okay. Okay, so there she be. So, um, thank you everybody uh, for tuning in as always. And before we do though, before we quit this, before we stop completely, I do got to do a couple more things that I need to show you that I do. So now that we have everything up and going, I do take a rag, the cleaning cloth rag, and I spray it. Kind of one more, one more time, you know, to kind of get any finger prints, dust prints, you know, prints, prints. All right, like that. And then, what I do with this is turn it inside out, kind of. There we go, there we go. I take this finger ease stuff. Then I spray that. And I take this cloth. And I do that. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody, once again. And hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned. Hope you took something out of it. So, until next time, stay tuned up and keep it rocking. And let's make this official. As we see as snip. Once again, till next time, stay tuned up, keep it rocking.